What do you know? What do I know? Well, for starters, it's the second largest city in the United States, covering almost 500 square miles and has 13 million inhabitants from every part of the globe. It's the center of the entertainment industry, and its name is synonymous with glitz, glamour, and celebrity. But there's actually a lot more to this metropolis. Its history goes back thousands of years and has included three different countries, an explorer who didn't feel like staying, a couple wars, an aqueduct, a sharpened eucalyptus tree, and yes, the movies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Los Angeles. This week, the city of Los Angeles. Ah, Los Angeles, the city of lights. No, that would be Paris. The city that never sleeps. No, that's New York. Most people don't know anything about Los Angeles. In fact, if we were asked to give the history of LA, it'd be difficult. I mean, we weren't taught the history of Los Angeles in school like we were with such cities as Boston or Philadelphia or New York, cities that were integral to the beginnings of the nation. For most of us, the history of Los Angeles begins somewhere around here. Uh, no, no, back further. Oh, come on! Ah, here we go. The land that is known as Los Angeles has been inhabited for over 7,000 years. It was originally populated by the Chumash and Tongva Native American tribes. They built sturdy canoes called tatis, which were made by sewing planks together and caulking them with tar. And where did they get the tar? They got it from here, at the famous La Brea Tar Pits. Today the tar pits are part of a museum and a park in pretty much the center of Los Angeles. It would become famous in the 20th century for the staggering number of fossils found here of plants and animals trapped during the last ice age. Now what we've done is actually taken the time to recreate one of those events. And just to warn you parents, what you're about to see is graphic. You may want to turn your children away. By 1519, the whole of Mexico and a good deal of what is now the United States had been claimed by Spain. And after much deliberation, they decided to name it New Spain. In 1539, the Viceroy of New Spain, Antonio de Mendoza, commissioned Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo to explore the California coast and search for the mythical Strait of Anian. Ciao. Why are you still here? Do you have a compass? What do you know? 